have the 12 to 2 shift at Odyssey. I haven't been cargo loading and greasing my thighs for two days for nothing. I gotta get this over. Okay, there is in the cover there, right? Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, cover your eyes, motherfucker. That's what you have to do. Okay, so I'm here because I love Kevin Wooten. Who doesn't love Kevin Wooten? <laughs> There you go. Keep your shirt on. Thank you. We'll love you. <laughs> so I have a few notes. I've met some of the hockey players and some I have not met. But from what I understand, there's a few people of interest. But let's start with Nate Tyler. Nate, oh. is Nate Tyler? Not here. here? Not here. All right. Well, that was a rope, though. All right. Well, from what I understand, he's an in-line speed, uh, speed skater from Team Years, which was a good substitution for Seth. Okay, I hope it cleared up his acne. I'm not sure it did. But however, we do have, and I understand, Trent, Matt, and Gordy. Uh oh. Legendary. We got those fellas here? Yeah. Okay, well, put your hands down because you're known as the Legendary Meat Lovers Line. Okay. <laughs> and from what I understand from a fellow hockey fan, you're the first one in the shower and the last one's out. <laughs> also, we have Chris Benedict. Where are you? He is my favorite. Isn't he a sweetie? He's so cute. <laughs> His smile is brighter than he is. But he's also got the most game-winning goals in Phantom Hockey Champ history. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Although, when you look at the stats of Phantom Hockey and my stats, I score more. <laughs> We also have Kevin Wooten. He loves his team. This is his team. We all know that he's a choo-choo man. He works for the, for the, the railroad. And he loves his team so much, he spares no expense, none of himself or his money. And after a really bad season, he just wanted to call it quits. So he goes to his job where he's a train conductor and decides he's just going to throw himself so train. Suicide by train. But the train went between his legs. Oh! Damn! Close your legs, you have some friends. All right, so also we have Phantom Hockey, his baby. Well, he finally had one. His mother will be happy. This is your baby. His longest winning streak was four days off. <laughs> and, oh, I need this. Ouch. I can wear those when you strip. Ouch. <laughs> Don't wear yours when I strip. So, how many phantoms does it take, take to change a tire? Anyone know? Any? One. One. Very good. Unless there's a blowout and everyone shows up. <laughs> What's the difference between phantom hockey and a bucket of shit? Nothing. The bucket. <laughs> All right. So when you go to a phantom hockey game and we wonder what they sing in the third period, what is it? You're right, nobody knows. But you can park in the handicapped parking spot by just putting your season tickets on the dashboard. <laughs> then we got my buddy, we got my buddy Benedict. I've got to love him. Oh, shit. Hey. Uh -oh. What does Benedict and Jason from Friday the 13th have in common? Thanks a fuck. Well, not well, true. I'll give you that. But they also both wear a hockey mask and make women scream for their lives. Same, same thing. True story. But let's not talk about all our friends. We got Casey. We got to love Casey. He's got a wonderful smile. It's brighter than he is, but we do love him. And then, okay, so we got Matt, Trent, and Nate driving in a car. Who's driving? Who's behind the wheel? Cops. Cops. Very good. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Let me find this. Let me go too. Andy, 
Because it's well, true. true. <laughs> All right. All right. So when we get really sick of Woody, how do we keep him away from naughties? Other than the gold, gold in the in the in the parking lot. <laughs> and what's the difference between phantom hockey and frequent fire miles? One earns points. Alright, who am I forgetting here? Let's see. Not me. Alright, and the final thing, we all are on the mission to find Woody, the woman of his dreams. We know he deserves it. We, we don't know a woman that deserves him yet, but I gotta tell you, if you look, we have the, the ski, or the what is it, jersey? It's jersey. Hockey jersey on the wall. Every female that you approach, and they, you say, you know, can I sit next to you? Is this seat empty? They go, well, mine's going to be empty if you sit next to me. But when you ask them to put that on you, they always ask, always, bartender, why does this smell like chloroform? you got to stop doing that. <laughs> but I've had a lot of fun. This is, I've had perfect, wonderful evenings. This was not it. But thank you for letting me rest you. Bye. <laughs>